Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. You are currently looking at the Pacific Ocean, and I am currently at Depot Bay, which is a thousand miles from Chiriaco Summit. And hopefully, I'll be seeing some whales. Real soon. Fix this real quick. Oh, now I'm stay. Oh, yeah. Coffee's still kicking in. I'm gonna start doing some videos. It's been a minute. It's been a journey getting here. Like I said, a thousand miles and two months in between, right? Stopped at my dad's, had a great time. Ate a bunch of stuff. Had a lot, of, had some Chinese food. That's really good. Braised chicken. That was so good. And some pizza from Rico's. Rico's pizza. Really good. That's like the best pizza ever. Their combination is like 20 bucks. It's awesome. And what else was I doing? Oh yeah, I grabbed on Panda Express. I was eating like filet mignon. My dad was rolling. He was like, he was he was hooking a brother up. He's, I made him some hamburgers on like the first night, and I was like growling when I was eating. So he was like, dude, you you kind of hungry? I'm like, it's been a minute, right? So that was fun. And I hung up with my dad, and then and got my oil changed and did some stuff on my vehicle, and of course went up to see my sister. God bless her, and. My battery died up there, that was fun. And hung out with my nephew, which wasn't fun. And yeah, people are just who they are, and it just, I can't be around people if they're gonna be yelling and be screaming and being horrible. I just don't do that. It's just, yeah, but my sister needs to get away from that. Anyway, long story short, birds pooped all over my vehicle while I was staying there, too. It's funnier and shit. I was just sitting there watching them just crap all over my vehicle. It was a storm, and they're like eating these berries on the streets, and then they were flying over my vehicle, and it was funny. I was like, okay. but the thing is, is a bird poops on you, it's good luck. So I was, I was busting up because I knew it happened. I knew it was happening. I was like, they're crapping all over my vehicle, but it's good luck. I mean, I washed it off, but anyway. And of course, and then I drove north. Finally, the weather broke a little bit so I could get through the, the mountains without having to deal with chains and crazy people slipping and sliding. So yeah. So anyway, so I went and saw my grandbabies, and that was awesome. I'm not, I didn't post anything on that or take videos of them because that's personal, but you know, my granddaughter is just three and her hair is long and flowing. It's different than my grandson's when he was her age. He was more curly and she was just, hers more straight, but oh my, she's running the show, kid. And yeah, it was funny. She's got, she's missing her front teeth, so she's, you know, she talks funny. She's got a little lispy thing and it's hard to understand what she's saying, but oh my God. Yeah. I can hear when she says, I love you. I love you. Yeah, it's cute like that. Anyway, so yeah, I got some hugs and kisses and I hang out with my grandbabies and my grandson, he got a fat lip while he was at school. Some kid pushed him off his scooter. His friend accidentally pushed him off a scooter and he hit his lip. I'm like, oh, you this friend, huh? Just accidentally pushed you. I was like, you know, I'm security, man. I told my grandson before when, I, when we were hanging out, I was like, I am security, so I'm good. my concern is you. So if somebody messes with you, they got to deal with me, right? So anyway. I thought that was funny. But anyway, and my granddaughter, yeah. She's a pretty princess. She had a little tutu. She had a little outfit that she had for, I guess it was Halloween, a little princess outfit, but it was a tutu. It was all rainbow color. It was really cute. And she kept putting it on and off. She's like, I just want to wear my tutu. She's a pretty princess. And then she started, be, you know, bossing everybody around. Oh my gosh, she was bossing my, her big brother around. It was funny. But it's cute. Anyway, I had a great time. And then I drove north, and here I am. Ready to rock and roll, sell my art, and I'm gonna do some videos. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff to talk about. This is just my intro to my next segment, uh, which is gonna be a bunch of minis. I'm just gonna do a mini on Helen Keller. Oh, she's awesome, but um, that's not the one I was gonna talk about. Anne Frank, there's a, I was I was gonna talk about Anne Frank, and you know why were her and her parents huddled in the attic, hiding from assholes? And I'm just gonna revisit that, you know, how it rel you know it's relevant to our modern society. Anyway. And, oh yeah, it's just so much to talk about. I actually wrote it down on the pad. See, I'm getting very high production value, babe. I'm not I'm kidding. I'm just like, it's like footnotes. You know, we're going to talk about some stuff. Artificial intelligence, censorship, toxic behavior, all that. You know, the you know the usuals. I got, oh my gosh. We're going to have some fun. I'm going to have a lot of minis. You know, it's going to be raining for the next couple of weeks up here in the north, but it's early spring. Today is the first day of spring, by the way. Congratulations, you survived winter, but it's still here in the north coast of, of, you know, Oregon, so yeah. 
and I'm blessed to be here. Last time I showed up, it was three days of just nonstop, just pouring rain and wind. It was awesome. Like I said, I'm in my little observatory, hanging out, watching the waves. So it's awesome. Anyway, so that's it. That's an update. I survived my thousand mile journey, and now I'm gonna do my thing. And hopefully, you're doing your thing. Remember, you're awesome. You're a miracle. Um, do your mantra in the mirror. You know, Emperor Empress. You know, you're just you're the amazing. I love you. You go out there and kick some butt because you're awesome. Don't take crap from anybody and don't let anybody put you down. No, you're no, nobody's less than. Everybody's equal. I mean, some people are just buttheads, but the point is we're all equal inside. You know, there are light. Well, that's debatable. Anyway, but I love you, and I'm going to let you go because they'll cut this off if it gets too long. Anyway, awesome. I love you. God loves you, and the universe is an amazing place. And they're, they're if, you know, they just want you to keep rocking the jeans, babe. Doing your thing. Oh, 70s music. Keep doing that, too. Anyway, I love you. Okay, bye.